yeah, dude, like, who cares, man? Life sucks. What is going on, my mates? Hope everyone's doing very well. Welcome to Saddest Pop Punk Songs Ever, Part 4. Now, this is actually probably my favorite list that I've ever made as far as songs go. Kind of like the order of the songs, the way they fit together, and them individually. So, super stoked to get into this, my mates. We got a playlist down below in the description for you to check out. I'll try to put it in the pinned comment, too. But yeah, super stoked on this. Gonna talk about the songs, read some lyrical content, and just have fun. We got 10 tracks, so here we go. Also, these Mates Club Fish shirts are dropping very, very soon, like this week. So go follow Mates Club USA on Instagram. That's all I really promote in these videos. It's my brand that I run for my house and stuff. So, so yeah, make sure to go follow that. And then let's do it. First up, we got a song from Emo's Best Kept Secret. I kid you not, a modern emo band called Souvenirs, originally from the best beach town in the entire world in California called Carpinteria. It's from their album called Posture of Apology. Souvenirs, they're just such a great freaking band. This particular track is one of their saddest for sure. One of the most emotionally charged, just beautiful tracks you can find in their entire body of work. It is called You Affect Me, you know, like with an A. Feel it in your back bone creeping up to your skull yeah you say you'll do anything so they know what you mean yeah you say you affect me yeah it's hard to explain I'd give up my left arm if I could hold you with the right everything would feel right the sentiment is new to me and when I close my eyes all I see is you so if that doesn't like sum up the way that it is when you feel so strongly about an individual that you're like romantically in love with I don't know what describes that better other than this song because like when you really really love someone I know it's the same for everyone like you really would give up one of your arms if you could just like have them with you so go check out this track dude it's a straight up banger alrighty so this is one of my favorite songs of all time it's called aphasia it is track four off of cardinal a record that came out in 2016 via run for cover records it is by a band called pine grove and let me tell you dude absolutely fantastic record fantastic band it's like indie emo a little bit of yeehaw country and I know maybe you're like dude like yeehaw country mixed with a little bit of emo and indie and, and those types of little grooves like that doesn't sound like it'd be very good but but that is where you are absolutely wrong it may have to grow on you for a second but you got to go check it out dude just start with track one off cardinal called old friends and then kind of work your way down to aphasia aphasia's track four like like the lyrical content on this album is so insane because their singer like songwriter guy evan stevens hall he's a very avid reader he's very he got his nose in the book so he has a very very verbose vocabulary he's just he's just quite a beast when it comes to words and, and writing and just i mean just song structure and general so so here's some lyrics from aphasia you'll you'll really love it plus one day you'll be reaching for me and i'll be gone so to help remind myself i wrote this little song one day i won't need your love one day i won't define myself by the one i'm thinking of and if one day i won't need it then one day you won't need it it's like a song within a song it's like it's really really genius this this whole like you got to listen to the whole song because it kind of like builds up to that point and it's so beautiful but i I could probably talk about this song for like 10 minutes, so I'll just leave you with that. Go check it out. <laughs> Alrighty, so I got an older song for y'all. This one came out at the end of 2012, so nearly seven years old. Feels really, really weird to say. It was like 2012, That like was that seven years ago? I don't know, but but so the song is called Hebron by a band called Real Friends. Real Friends, I, the more I think about it, I'm like, dude, they kind of, they really did kind of pave the way for like the modern like pop punk revival type of thing that was going on for a minute. I feel like we're not really there anymore, but I don't know, I feel like from 2011 maybe to like 15, or 16 that was kind of a thing and real friends really helped that along but anyway so Hebron is a shorter song it's acoustic I guess it's got Dan Lampton you know just being really really emotional has some iconic tumblr type lyrics you know you're just begging for an edit but yeah here's some words from it when something's fallen apart as many times as us I can't put it back together it's not the same you still run through my head every night when I lay in bed you used to cover up the cigarette burn on the passenger seat of my car now there's just empty coffee cups in long drives by myself I I remember when I when I heard that for the first time and I was just like dude like I don't think it could possibly get any deeper than this you know what I mean does anyone remember like hearing like lyrics like that for the first time when you're like way younger than you like currently are and you're just like bro like like this like this is like what real emotion is you know what I mean I don't know maybe it's just me okay so admittedly this is kind of pushing the envelope on saddest pop punk songs ever and you could argue and I would probably agree that this isn't really a pop punk song at all but this song feels really really on brand it's by a band called pianos become the teeth from an older record that they put out a while ago called old pride has some horses on it very very beautiful record the track is called cripples can't shiver I mean just based on that title you're like cripples can't 
can't shiver this this track is just an absolute diamond in the rough I mean th the rest of the album is good but like this song is absolutely incredible it has like a sample of his mom talking at their church about like their dad's like multiple sclerosis thing dude it's like it's a real trip of a song so I'm looking more like you every day old man in every way I'm feeling phantom pains from the fire you've dropped on your legs I'm storing my uplifting look back for my time in that seat in that seat alone in your world alone in your world just a wall away staying angry at the stages of the day your speech has gotten slow and you've lost so much weight the family knees have gotten weak the family skin has gotten languid dude it's just like it talks about his his dad wasting away basically into nothing and like how he used to do so much stuff and the mom talks about how it's so hard and like the the sample that they use in the song dude it's really tough like it's honestly really tough to listen to but it's a really good song this is a band that people have kind of been begging me to check out for a really 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 long time and i finally did and they're a pretty darn cool band they're very very interesting even if you don't like them you can at least say like hey they're doing their own thing and it's very very interesting it incorporates some like spoken word stuff it's a little emo it's a little bit scramsy you know what i'm saying it's it's just really really interesting they're like again it's called the cardboard swords they've kind of been on my radar for a minute but for some reason there's just nothing that made me go i'm gonna go check them out but i finally did now this is their most popular song it's called flannel and this is from a spoken word part of the song so if you like movements and kind of like the part at the end of full circle like just like that type of vibe of like spoken word you'll probably like this band you'll probably like this song here's some words i'll keep doing the things that i do and i'll find someone who wants me like i wanted you so sing along at a show this weekend act a fool get drunk with these friends that you love somewhere somewhere said all good things end the what in my mind made me think this time would be different so obviously very you know very like spoken wordy like emotional you know what i mean like i definitely enjoy it i think you'll enjoy it too if you're in the emo pop punk all that so check it out let me just say you don't know what real emo is until you've heard this song called movies like juno by a band called midwest pen pals midwest pen pals are just like the classic textbook definition of emo weren't around that long loved by many very emotional pretty much every emo band that's ever existed that's really loved like was hardly around for like any time at all hardly put out any music but like gained like this really dedicated passionate following and this is how midwest pen pals are and were they were kind of like mid to late 2000s i think as far as like when they're putting out music but but yeah like it's just such a i remember hearing this for the first time i think it was like 2013 maybe when i heard it and i was just like wow and, and it's like as you hear it like when you get older it's kind of like it takes on a different meaning it's really interesting so here's some words from it i just heard a bird what are scars but memories we can't forget well mom you gave me a lot of scars and they really haven't faded we all get your letters but you can't quite seem to get it we all forgive but none of us can forget i hope you're doing well maybe we'll talk again one day i love you i loved you never we'll be all right we've made plans to hold our heads high so basically this song is kind of like the the kid or the kids like being like yo dad like where's mom you know what i mean and it's just like dude like their mom left them like i mean it's one thing when your dad leaves you i mean it's like equally as sad but like i don't know dude it's just it, it hits so this is a song from a split something that doesn't really happen too much these days i don't see as many splits as i used to does anyone else notice that maybe they're just not like super profitable like i totally get it i mean it makes sense this is a song called 24 by balance and composure tiger's jaw balance and composure one 12 inch split vinyl beautiful cover art beautiful songs 24 it's just like I, it's just one of those songs where just like you hear it for the first time and you're just like okay like this is it it just kind of like just has like this like just droning like just driving like force that makes you want to keep listening to it and it even mentions October Sky which is one of my favorite movies of all time so it's super duper dope let it go oh it's taking over it's all that I can see look around up and down how can you see hope in anything I see nothing lost all sense of hoping for the best another brother never seen again lost all sense of hoping for the best another brother never seen again let it go I mean like if that's that doesn't get you I don't know what will like I remember I was I think this is like my sophomore year of high school I heard that and I was like working out in the garage and I was like yeah dude like who cares man life sucks this song is one that means a lot to me which I know sounds kind of stupid but yeah this song means a lot to me I really really love it by a band called basement from their album I wish I could stay here came out 2011 has all of the bangers on it I still I still enjoy basement dude but I don't know I'm just like not as sold on their like 
bad rock brand these days you know what I mean like fueled by ramen like it's cool they're a big band now they're playing big shows they even like played with the pixies or something like stoked for them but I'll always kind of like color me in kindness and I wish I could stay here era a little bit better but Canada Square is the song in question such a beautiful track very short on lyrical content but the lyrical content that is there is very nice I started sleeping on my back because you used to and I miss you I found your note when I came to it was a heartfelt thank you that broke my heart in two so pack up and leave this place behind your eyes are so much brighter now that I'm too scared to look at you in a room so full of people I've never felt so alone it's interesting how there are certain bands artists writers etc etc they can like just be really really short on lyrical content is like very very minimal but still like pack a punch and then there are some that like have minimal lyrics that just make me feel nothing but these make me feel a lot follow me by transit is song number nine that we're gonna be talking about but first of all rest in peace to Tim Landers he was a member of transit I absolutely love transit I'll always love transit this is a song from their album called joyride 2014 this is the last song on the album it's kind of one of those songs where, where you hear it and then you're just like whatever but like it, it kind of grows on you like it's not one that you pick out like on your first initial listen but after you listen to it like multiple times you start to like kind of notice it a little bit more and it just becomes your favorite over the next few listens but follow me it's kind of about going on a trip with your friends falling in love falling out of love it's pretty basic but at the same time it's kind of a unique take on that type of situation Diana your history ain't much a mystery buried your worries and bruises and bed sheets go if you want to be lovesick and lonely I'll be waiting on you come on and tell me the truth the story unfolds with the lies you told me love is a dream I'm waking up slowly go if you want to be lovesick and lonely I'll be waiting on you I'll be waiting till you say goodbye last but not even close to least we have Jesus Christ by brand new and if you don't like this band because their allegations you know tossed at them that's totally okay I totally understand you can just say hey Nate I'm gonna skip this one but Jesus Christ incredible track from one of my favorite albums ever this one is probably like a top top 10 top 15 album the devil and God are raging inside me by brand new 2006 this album is closing in on being 15 years old which is absolutely ridiculous this every song on this album is a 10 out of 10 I kid you not like you'll you'll rarely hear me talk like this highly of an album but I am talking this highly of an album Jesus Christ is like maybe like top five most beautiful songs on it so and this this is just such a quintessential like pop punk emo whatever indie song and if, if you've never heard of it I hope that I can introduce you to it because I, I know some of you might be like Nate every everyone knows this one but like what if someone doesn't dude and that's what I'm covering right now so Jesus Christ that's a pretty face the kind you'd find on someone I could save if they don't put me away well it'll be a miracle do you believe you're missing out that everything good is happening somewhere else but with nobody in your bed the night's hard to get through and I will die all alone and when I arrive I won't know anyone if you've never listened to this song go listen to it right now alrighty my mates thank you so much for watching this video it is really really hot in here so I had to run the AC on the tiniest setting so if the sound is a little bit off dude I'm so freaking sorry so kind of figuring out the film situation because I love my car and I love my room but I kind of love the car more so so we're we're still kind of figuring out because like the weather is like absolutely ridiculous right now but seriously thank you so much for watching go follow mates club USA on Instagram if you haven't already um, and have have a great rest of your day got some good stuff coming for you this week I'll keep it keep it keep it vague but got some good stuff coming for you this week love you my mates see you soon